Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again another reaction for you guys. It is here guys, it is here. The Last of Us, the first episode, the show is finally here and this is something that I've been patiently waiting for, obviously all day today, but been patiently waiting for since the announcement and then the casting of who they're actually getting to play Joel and Ellie. Like it's so crazy who they got for this show and the fact is that they seem to put a big budget in it. The trailers have been great and now it's here. That first game, The Last of Us, was phenomenal. Still is phenomenal. I haven't played The Last of Us Part 2. I still have yet to play that game. I know some certain spoilers and everything, but I'm really excited to see what they do with it, this adapt adaptation because we know they're making changes. They've already said there, there are some changes and everything. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to stop talking. Let's just get into this thing now. I'm ready to get into this thing and see what they show us because, like I said, I've been waiting quite for quite some time because I think this could be the next Game of Thrones in a sense in terms of a very popular show. We had House of the Dragon, obviously, in 2022, so I feel like this could be their newest, biggest show on HBO. So here we go, guys. The Last of Us, the first episode, which has no title, just episode one. Let's go. You do think microorganisms pose a threat, or in the most dire terms, bacteria? No, because there are some fungi who seek not to kill, but to control. Mm. Let me ask you, fungal infection of this kind is real, but not in humans. Mm. Well, it's and there are no treatments for this, no preventatives, no cures. So if that happens, we lose. Yep. Hey, still alive, you old fucker? Oh, I loved you. Taking some money? Y'all want some biscuits? Dad, you love biscuits. Yeah, take some biscuits. The calm before the storm, if you will. Yeah. We're closing. Huh? I'm Santa's ma. We're done for today. You should go home. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's about to get fucking bad. This is this is all new. So they're doing a lot more setup with her. Um Uh crap, what is happening? Oh god. Dog knows. The dog knows. <laughs> Where's the cake? Yeah, you said you were gonna bring cake. Where's the cake? Thank you. Put on the jail. God damn it. Oh, the dog. Wait, I can't remember. Can animals get infected by this? I can't remember. Go back inside. What are you doing? No, 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 no. Mrs. Adler? Mm hmm. Door's wide open. Oh, shit. Huh? I mean. Holy shit. Run. Get the truck. <laughs> Clumsy shit. Shoot it! Ooh. Denise, you get back inside the house! You lock your doors now! Shit, oh, now they're up. Run them over. She is an idiot. Now we've reached an actual part of the game at this point, the beginning. No. No, no, don't stop. No. I mean, if you're in this situation, it's every man for themselves, I think. Another vehicle's following suit. Sam, yep, yeah, let's go on the field. Oh no, Mexico. Just far. As far as we can. How much gas? Three quarter chain. There's nowhere to go. It's everywhere, yeah. There's nowhere to go. It's, yeah. Holy crap. Okay. Keep going, keep going. Holy crap. Yep. Careful. Oh my god. There's nowhere to go. Oh fuck, the plane's coming down. Holy shit. We gotta get off the street! Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Easy now. 
We're not sick, sir. We are not sick! <laughs> Please, go. <laughs> I know, baby. I know, I know, I know, I know. Baby, 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 listen to me. I gotta get you up. Joe. He knows. Come on, baby, go. She's already gone. <clears throat> this is because it's based off a of really good video game. What the fuck is this? I, it's not clicking who this is. I don't know. Red. I'm guessing that means not good. What if I told you that I don't it's just a rose. Oh! Huh. Burning the bodies. That's Joel. Yeah, I figured it was him, yeah. Yeah. The shoes, yeah. I knew it. Yeah. Curfew. That makes sense, curfew. Yep. Can't be out. That's a lot of new cash. What's going on? Shoot you, Foxy. I drove. How old Drugs. You okay. Yeah. I don't know where he gets them from. I just know they're real. Hmm. Fireflies. Yeah. I want you to forget this ever happened. Dumb. You don't do that. What? It's just a truck battery. <laughs> Holy shit! What happened here? Get out of there. <laughs> Two. Three. Fuck. You. Let me out or you're gonna pay, motherfuckers! Hey, there's a line. No. Doesn't give a shit. I'm sure he's okay. Show me where the tower is. You can't be serious. Oh, he's serious. There are raiders. There are slavers. Are you sure Tom is okay? Mmm. Weapons. Try to find the road. Guess that truck or whatever, then yeah. Watch. Hmm. I got jumped by a couple guys. He's about to What's freak. That? There's a couple teenagers. The guys that jumped me were with Robert. He said um, that is. Yep. Oh, he's, oh, he's angry. That thing's lost. Robert is terrified of you. So you march out of here, I'll clean Eastwood. He's going to get wind of it and skip. And I would very much like him to die. So let's go hunt down Robert. Go down. Is this real? Yeah, maybe it is. Oh, it's real. Why, I don't want anything. Sure you don't. If you feel I'm don't believe that. To look for the light and I'll break your jaw. Oh, she's trying. I wouldn't sit that close to her. She's ready to use that. So can I go? No. no. I did. No, thanks. Do I look like your mom? No. Ooh, you're an out. Was Riley a terrorist? That's not good. Oh, no. I don't like that. Oh! 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 I wasn't expecting that. Ugh. He wasn't down here last time. Oh shit! What happened here? He still tried to sell it twice. Ooh! Ellie. Nope. Ellie. Ellie. What do you need a car battery for? Don't take it, her. Attack. Let me take her. Tess, we don't have time for this. Oh, I don't know what you're both capable of. For better or worse. Yeah. Asshole! <laughs> we'll get her to your crew at the state house. Yep. But before we hand her over, they give us everything that we want. Mm. If not, we kill her. There and then. Deal. Really? Don't fuck this up. <laughs> don't fuck this up. <laughs> Surprised she didn't, hadn't tried to run away. What are you doing? Killing time. Well, what am I supposed to do? I'm sure you'll figure that out. I'm sure you'll figure that out. So we're gonna be okay. Debatable. Holy shit, I'm actually out of bounds. Yeah, sure, get down. This is the stealth part of the mission. Oh, really? 
Oh, it's that dude. Okay. Okay, let's talk this out. Unauthorized exit. Oh, oh shit. Out of your fucking mind. Oh, yep, yep, fuck. yep. He's brought back to that moment. Yeah, exactly, exactly. No, I'm not sick. No, no. And that was the first episode of The Last of Us. And I gotta say, what a damn good start. And they did a lot more build up to the moment where Sarah unfortunately dies. Because instead of starting basically when everything is going crazy, we have like this opening sequence decades before everything falls apart in 2003 with the infection and everything of where this guy, and I recognize the actor, and he was on this like talk show and it was a very different era. It was really crazy, but he was talking about a what if scenario. What if the world got warmer? Could this could occur with fungus and then going on and on. And then the whole entire mood of the conversation between this guy and another guy and the host and the audience completely shifted. It was just very eerie. And then we jumped to 2003 with Sarah and everything and She's making breakfast and everything, and there's Joel, of course, Peter Pascal, phenomenal, as I knew he was going to be, based off the trailers, I mean, he's a phenomenal actor, so I knew he was going to nail this role, and he did a damn good job. So, Sarah goes to school and everything, and then things are starting to get a little weird. She goes to the neighbor's house, and there's the woman who is sitting in that um, in that wheelchair, and she seems like she's wheelchair-bound. Things are a little strange, and especially when she goes to the DVD section, is looking through, and then she starts twitching and stuff, and then she's just completely still when she, when Sarah leaves the house. And I don't know why that woman was making raisin cookies. Anyways, it's a chocolate chip raisin. Okay. Anyways, the dog is staring at the woman. She's just completely still, and the dog is like starting to notice something, starting to whine a little bit. Of course, Joel gets home late, and then his brother, of course, is in jail, and everything starts falling apart from here, but Sarah doesn't know what's going on. There's the dog, I think called Mercy or something, like whatever the dog's name was, that came, like, freaking out, takes the dog back, and then the woman is, of course, eating on and biting and eating the man that we saw in the, uh, earlier in the episode feeding the woman. And he's already been attacked, and the other woman is getting attacked as well. And Joel, and thankfully, you know, Joel, I forget the brother's name. I'm forgetting on top of my head of them, but Tommy. They show up. They have to kill that woman, unfortunately. And then there's a there's a neighbor who's outside. He's <laughs> like, get back in the house. And then they, they leave. And, of course, she doesn't, and she gets attacked as well. It's like... But then we see everything kind of unfold, and we see, like, that, that point of view thing to where they're in the truck... And we see a part, like part of that game play out, but they did a lot more build up in terms of, cause I honestly expected the show to start off possibly where the game starts. But then I started to like say, as we're getting closer to the release of the show, looking at the marketing and everything, and just kind of theorizing that what if they actually expand upon the opening? And I was right. And people are theorizing that as well. So then everything is going to shit. There's the army and everything. Sarah unfortunately dies. And then it cuts 20 years later. And that sequence, and I'm trying to remember if this was in the game. It's been a bit since I've played the game, and I'm trying to remember. But that, I'm guessing a little girl, I'm not sure, a little boy, I have no idea, is walking and is walking to Boston where we see everything has now basically fallen apart. There's the giant wall and everything securing you know, all of them inside and everything, trying their hardest to protect everybody. And then everything is just overgrown and stuff. And the kid's slowly walking up. They test the kid, Red. And then she was giving encouragement, saying, you know, hey, you know, we're going to give you some medicine. We're going to help you. And we're going to get you all your favorite toys and food. And then we see where they're burning the bodies and the kid's a part of that. And Joel is there. And the woman next to him um, says, I can't do it. And Joel has to do it because the kid was infected. So... They found a way to take people out, put them to sleep, I guess. Or maybe because my wife was <laughs> off camera, like kind of like watching a little bit as well going. So like, did that needle like kill them? Like, I, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. All I know is that 
that kid is now no longer on this earth anymore. And so Joel is selling drugs, and there's this one officer guy. Of course, that he ends up killing him because it's a flashback and everything, but I'll, I'll get to that in a moment. But we kind of see the new world that they're kind of living in, and the cur- uh, the currency and everything, and Joel, and I'm trying, and I think, not, I, I'm pretty sure they changed, because I forget her name, the woman who was with Joel, but I'm pretty sure in the game, she's not there at the beginning when we kind of flash forward. Like, there's like a different a time when she appears in the game. But she's there. She's trying to get a battery. They're trying to get a vehicle. They're trying to go find Tommy because Tommy is somewhere else. And so I kind of like how they did some changes in terms of the game into this. But they it, it, it worked because there were certain moments I'm like, I remember that from the game, like in terms of the, the POV and the truck or whatever, but with Sarah and everything and they're driving and trying to figure all this out. And that plane crash was crazy, crazy moment. Um, so then we see the fireflies. We kind of hear more about the fireflies with the course explosion, because she's there, uh, talking to that one guy who was trying to sell a battery and then he sold to somebody else. And apparently it, it wasn't any good. So the guy's just an ass, but then there's an explosion and everything. And so she's, they're assuming she's a firefly and then I guess they clear her. I have no idea, but then we get to see where they are. Like the whole goal is for them to get out. And then we see Ellie who is captured by the fireflies. And I'm trying to remember, is that, I, I think that's a part of the game, like where the fireflies had Ellie. Like I'm trying to remember exactly where I, I'm pretty sure sh- I'm, I'm thinking that maybe that's what that was where Ellie was captured by the Fireflies at the beginning of the game. I'm trying to remember. Like, it's been a while since I played the game. There's there's certain things, of course, I remember, but there's, like, certain small details. I'm like, is that changed in the show? I'm not sure. Of course, I guess you guys will let me know in the comments. But Ellie, I guess, finds out the truth. I think she kind of knows because she was bitten three weeks prior, which we kind of addressed a little bit later. But then she's told how important she is. And then, of course, Joel and, and, uh, and I forget her name, apologies, show up. And there was a shootout because that guy was trying to sell the, the the bad battery and everything just kind of went to shit. And that's where they get the whole thing to where, okay, so we're, you're, you're going to go take her to this location with the fireflies. She's very important. And now they, they kind of know at the end of the episode, obviously, that there's something else going on here because Joel was like, all right, so you some kind of big wigs daughter or something. You must be really important because like she literally begged us to take you and we're going to go and drop you off or well no, it's, that's not going to happen because what i'm saying like that was the whole goal the whole plan um and so he's they they agreed just because they need a lot of stuff they need a lot of stuff and of course the whole sneaking section where they get out and everything they find a time and place to do that and i don't know why it just hit me like whenever joel laid down and took a nap on the couch like just the way that scene played out, i'm like that's exactly from the game like i remember that moment <laughs> I think it was. Yes. Yes. Because, because I remember like he passed out and she's like, what am I supposed to do? He's like, you'll figure it out or something like that. It's like, like I remember that distinctly happening. So then there's the guy who has, who's the cop guy or whatever. And then he's testing and she stabs him because she knows she's going to be tested negative. She knows. So she stabs him and Joel gets flashed back to that moment because it was basically the same situation that happened with him and Sarah when he's running trying to hold her because she can't run. She can't move. And that, 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 that one chasing him, my God, that was in, intense. Like go through the diner area, or whatever. I'm like, this is brutal. Like my God, like, cause at any point, realistically, he should have died. Luck was on his side, but there was that guy in the SWAT gear. And then he's flashed back to that moment because it's the same situation. He's standing there. He's going to get shot at. This guy's not going to let them go. And then he flashes back to when that guy started firing his automatic rifle or whatever, and it kills his daughter in the process. And uh, thankfully, Tommy was there to, to take that guy out, but not in this case. So Joel had to take action because Joel at the, at the moment with Sarah could not do anything. He was holding on to his daughter. He couldn't do anything. Um, and in this instance, he knew he had to do something. So he beat the shit out of that guy. And uh, yeah. And then, of course, so they find the negative test, and then she's saying, no, look look at my wrist, look at this mark. It's been uh, three weeks ago. I, I no, like Nobody lasts more than a day until they turn. So, yeah. And I'm trying to wondering, like, 
when the original infection started in 2003, was people biting each other or was like, it was, I don't know how that was working because like, maybe that was the case. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember exactly how the infection started. Maybe they're non-specific on the, how it actually started anyways, but that is really important, obviously. Um, tone wise, the show is really good in terms of it being dreary and dark, but at least the opening was somewhat, you know, fun Kind of like in terms of like, it's not exactly serious yet because things haven't gone to shit yet, but they slowly started like throwing little things in there once we get to the 2003 timeline with hearing things on the radio and then everything just falls apart, you know, in terms of like taking the watch and he's still wearing the watch, Joel is, but she takes the watch and the, and the wife is like trying to get her out the door. Like, yeah, something's going on, but I really enjoyed the first episode. It was really fun, and I really, I'm so excited to see what happens next, because I was wondering, are they going to do this first episode, and then Joel and Ellie are not going to actually meet in the first episode, or maybe they'll be like the last thing before it cuts the, you know, credits, but thankfully, they didn't really waste too much time. They, of course, did more build up and establishing things, but they got to the main, like, thing of where now they're on this, you know, journey together. You know, and so I'm kind of glad that they didn't waste too much time with that, but they did a great job of building up stuff, which took more time with the episode, but they didn't make it to where the last thing is, okay, now they're together. Like we had a little bit of time with them. So now I'm excited. I'm excited. What did you, you guys think of the first episode? I'm curious to know your thoughts of the last of us guys. I'm curious to know your thoughts on the first episode. Let me know in the comments below guys. I really enjoy it. I can't wait for episode two. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out.